Continue, God, to bless us as we sacrifice of ourselves to you. And let your spirit be upon each and every one of these married couples, Lord. I pray your joy, your peace, and your love upon them. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Praise God. We're going to start with this table here. And then from here, we'll jump up to Pastor Pete. And then we'll jump over here to Brother George. And then we'll go to Pastor Daniel's table. All right, uh, hello, good evening. All right, some of us have some kids and uh, we teach them. <laughs> we play games with them. We enjoy their company. Um, so what we're gonna do is introduce a game that we play with the kids. So um, we have baskets here. Thumbs up. Re and then I'm gonna say, okay, ready? You're just running around. This is what we have right here. So you're just running around. So you're kind of like, no, don't, you know? <laughs> kind of dodge her. But she's gonna, and when she makes four, four, uh, the first one who makes four wins. Um, so I'm gonna make a Pissarra now. Ready, set, go. Dun, 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 dun. Put on your head. Dun, 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 dun. Go get it. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, but the hard part is that they're gonna be there's gonna be five of the couple, so it's gonna be a little challenging. Um, the first one, we could do it five. There's five baskets. You make the four, you grab your couple, I mean, you grab your uh, partner, your husband, your spouse, and then just raise it high so that way we know that you're the first one to have four inside the basket. No, Brother Mario, we are not doing that. <laughs> we get to leave here. Come on, Rick! Okay, hold on. Yeah, we might, yeah, yeah, that might, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pastor yeah. Stephen, I need to try to get Peter to be my partner, but he's like, I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> hey, you can make it work. Just put it in your phone. Well, the, um, whatever you have connected. I had a heart flood. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Well, I could dance with when I think of his goodness. Don't waste time for me. All right. Just start running. Running. You're going run from her. Run from her. Just like the kids, just like the kids. I'm just saying, everybody right here, this is just like the kids. This is how you wear out your kids and they're able to sleep at night. You're welcome. You're very welcome. All right, here we go. What if, Pastor, what you got? You're gonna be the chasing one? All right, switch it up, go ahead, guys. 
Switch it up. Hey, Rick. Rick, don't you run her over. Right. Now, you guys got to really run because you know what I mean. No cheating. Okay. Switch uh, areas. So you come over here, you come over there. Yeah. So you, no, no, no. The ladies can't get it. you have right now and you establish it at home and if it takes you buying going to the 99 cent store and buying hula hoops and balls and baskets for you to take it at home then then that's what you need to do to take it home but do whatever it takes to keep the joy and the life in your marriage holy and acceptable before the Lord and and you're gonna be able to see because I have heard many a time my mom sing to my dad little corritos just little songs and I've heard many a time my dad whisper sweet nothings to my mom. So you're going to get a little peek behind the veil. And I would that you as First Lady sings this song to the love of her life. That you would spend a moment hand in hand with the love of your life. With your spouse. And if your spouse got up to use a restroom, you need to go get him right now. Can we give it up for First Lady? Thank you. 
understand that every team, every team has a leader. We need to understand that. We need to accept it and understand that. Every team has a leader. And God has given that role to the husband. I wasn't asked. But God gave that role to the husband. And I think God knows best. So we might as well just follow suit. You know, it's been said that, yeah, he's the, he's the, the man of the house. But we're the head that joins the head. Amen. <laughs> so wives should understand that every team has a leader. And God has given that role to the husband. And that is found in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. And I'll read it. It says, wives... Subject yourselves to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. That's the leader. For the husband is the lead. He is to lead his wife. That's why you have to husband self-sacrifice. Because the wife will lead a self-sacrificed husband. So it says. First lady, that was good. So just keep going to this. Uh, you know what? I, I left my iPad right over there on the side of the bar. With Paul. He was bringing that up. Um, you know, uh, who'd like to have some gas money? Of course. <laughs> oh. Okay, answer this question for me. Oh, um, I thought it was This is going to be kind of a weird question. Please. Uh, but <laughs> do, we, do we raise our hand or just shout it out? <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. My wife's buds in my head. And they're not talking. And sometimes that can get go on for days, weeks, and sometimes for months and years where there is a separation there. They may talk just to get business done around the house or whatever, 
but they're really not communicating or loving one another. And all through their time of loneliness, they're thinking, I want all of this marriage. Boy, it got quiet. Exactly what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Married, or married people are the loneliest people in the world because of situations that go on, that they allow to go on in their lives. Uh, and the secret to a successful marriage, amen, and that is true. That is true. Why? I mean, and, and, and remember when you first met, you you were going head over heels and that and that, and, and you thought, you know, he, you know, he was the next thing to, to you know, to, to the, the, the greatest athlete or whatever. Or, and, 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 and you can't do it because you know you, you you were just never taught, and so it's not easy. Just like somebody that may know how to cook menudo, it's easy. But someone that doesn't know how to cook it, you know, they like to eat it, but they don't know how to cook it, so it becomes complicated. You know how to cook menudo? No. No. I don't, but I like it. But. <laughs> Damn <Dumb enjoy. laughs> I love it. Amen. 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 And, 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 and so, uh, but that's me too. <laughs> but but see, it's, but it's complicated to those that don't know how to do it. Even though they have all the, they can have all the ingredients that they don't know how to put together. They don't know that you need to cook the tripe first, they don't, and, and, and then put the seasonings and all that. Right? Okay. I think I got a little bit right, <laughs> but the rest, the rest of me is is, is complicated. Yeah. So, so a male is really not complicated, and a female is not complicated. The problem is that we're ignorant. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, so where wherever there is ignorance, there's experimentation. Okay, let me say that again. Wherever there is ignorance, there is experimentation. Well, what is that? that because if, if you don't know about something, you're gonna try this, you're gonna try that, you're gonna try this, that didn't work, maybe more of that, you know. You, you're gonna try all kinds of stuff to try to uncomplicate the thing. So you're gonna be experimenting, that's called e experimenting. And, and so, be, but because we don't know the end result, so we continue to experiment, and then that brings forth, and if we don't get it, then that brings forth what? Frustration. Amen. And complications bring forth frustration to where we get to a point to where we just want to throw our hands up. Forget it. Okay, maybe you just ought to go. Maybe I just ought to get out of this. That's it. Being ignorant. And not willing to work it out okay uh, and so here in Matthew 19 we find Jesus approached but he is approached by these educated religious leaders they call them the Pharisees in those days these men are ac actually professors at the at the at the law or at the Word of God or in uh, of the law okay and that's that's the the five books of the Pentateuch uh, uh, in uh, the books that Moses wrote and I'm referring to, 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 to those books, but, but which govern, listen to this, those books, the Old Testament, governed the lives of the people at that time. Okay, because they didn't have no New Testament. What is that? The oh, the printer. Okay. Yeah, I thought we had a rat in the wall. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So, so, so the, the the law was not only listen to this. I'm going to give you some nuggets here. The law was not only a religious writing, but it was social law, and it was marital law, and also relational law and governmental law. Okay. And so I have all of these put together. And remember, this is the first time that the children of Israel had ever received the Word of God, the Ten Commandments, the law, the dietary law, and, and all these things. And so actually the law was, was for a national development. God was trying to develop His people on how to live, uh, what to do, what not to do, how to serve Him, what to eat, what not to eat. And, and, and how to conduct 
uh, themselves in certain situations with relations with people. Okay, if your brother offends you, you know, this is how you handle it. You know, if, 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 if you know, if, if it was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You know, and, and, if, and if your brother, you know, or if somebody killed your brother, well, you had a right as a brother to go kill that guy. No one's going to say nothing. Unless, you know, he ran into a city of refuge. And so, so uh, these are the laws that they lived under. There's nobody on this earth that lives like the Jewish people. Because they still live under this law. Amen. They live under and they live under the 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 these laws that, that Moses gave them and the prophets and so forth. And and so God gave Moses the wisdom to write down these laws on how people were to live together, how this Jewish society was to conduct themselves uh, within themselves, okay? Uh, and so what he was doing again, he was building a nation on how to live with one another. Because remember, before this, there were 400 years in slavery. They didn't know what to do. They didn't have any commandments. They didn't have the law. They didn't have anything. Okay, so God had to rebuild their thinking. Their mind. Because you got all your gifts. She has all her gifts. She's prayed up. She's, 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 she's going for it like fire. You're, you're, and, and, and you're the wood. You just burn me up, baby. And then, you know. <laughs> Yeah. And you're just going for it, right? I mean, I mean, you ever realize that when you guys work together, you get a whole lot more done? Yeah. 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 I mean, if, if you realize that in America, you raise your hand. Amen. Then, amen. And then that's what God wants. He wants for both of us to work together. Yeah. All right? And, and, and if you give her or him a little bit, what happens? All right. Running over. They're running over. Amen. And that's what the Lord wants. Yeah. Amen. Just share a little bit sometimes. Sometimes she, she you, you need to give her some credit or, or, or compliment her, and sometimes she will compliment you. 